Hello everyone, and welcome to the perk analysis series, where I test perks based on their individual ability to benefit the player in the trial. This analysis will be based on three factors. The first factor is how often the perk can activate within a trial. The second is how well the perk performs when activated and how it can help. And the third is how likely is it to activate or get use if the player puts it on for one game. Now for the disclaimers. This series will not be an official tier list or ranking on genuine usefulness of perks at high level. However, with that being said, I will try and evaluate the perks to the best of my ability. I am by no means a top tier survivor, but with almost 3k hours under my belt, and most of my playtime being survivor while running different random perks, I think I have some room to talk about perks and their general use. When discussing perks, I will only be referring to their tier 3 version. And during gameplay, I am allowing myself to run items, add-ons, and offerings. Although I have almost 3k hours, I will also try and note how the perk can have use in low to medium skill levels. For these videos, I will be playing in a Survive with Friends group with my friend Jake. We will be talking about the perk while running it. Our gameplay will not be serious, as we don't take DVD that seriously. There will be misplays, but at the end of the day, we're having fun. And that's what matters. One last disclaimer before we get into this. Since I'm running one perk at a time, the game shown may not provide a full story on the perk's usefulness. I will try and make a case for certain perks that don't reach even close to their full potential without a build. And without further ado, let's get into it. Overzealous is Hattie's first perk. Overzealous makes it so that the user repairs gens 8% faster after cleansing a totem. If the user cleanses a hex totem, the repair speed bonus will be 16%, and both of these bonuses last until the survivor loses a health state. Overzealous can be lost by his arenas for the people, so I wouldn't recommend running both of these perks at the same time. This perk can only be activated by one totem at a time, meaning the benefit cannot exceed 8% or 16% for a hex totem. Before I get any further into the video, I gotta say that this perk is extremely weak and underwhelming. Working on a gen faster is great, but when it requires the user to waste more time than when they would otherwise save, there's a problem. So it's time to do some math. Cleansing a totem takes 14 seconds without perks. With counterforce, it takes 11.6 seconds, but we'll pretend we aren't running counterforce due to it being an extra perk slot. But yeah, overzealous rewards 8% speed bonus on gens. Gens normally take 90 seconds to finish, but with the speed bonus from Overzealous, gens only take 83.3 seconds. Now, that's under a 7 second difference. Overzealous doesn't balance out from doing a whole gen. Cleansing a totem takes longer than the amount of time saved finishing a gen. If you do 2 gens with Overzealous active, then the perk still doesn't have a net positive. It's still 0.7 seconds behind from the time you wasted on cleansing a totem. Now, if you were to work on gens for 175 seconds, aka 2.1 gens with the speed bonus, then this perk would finally have a net gain, right? Well, no, it would save 14 seconds on gens, but it still takes time to move from a totem to a gen, so extra time spent on looking for totems to speed up gens will just make this perk worse. Sure, cleansing a totem will both remove the hex and provide double the benefit, but that isn't enough. It would still take 88 seconds to save 14 seconds on a gen. This is over 1.1 gens worth of time. So yeah, you have to do a lot of work on gens without getting injured for this perk to even get a net value. So if you're going out of your way to get a totem to only get use out of this perk, then you're better off just doing a gen and not using this perk at all. You can actually get value from this perk, but it doesn't mean you should try. Having to do over 2 gens uninjured for a perk to even get value is not good. Also, cleansing a totem removes it from the game and makes it so that it can no longer be used as a boon. This perk could be worth it if it were a boon, but the values may have to be toned down due to it affecting multiple people and multiple gens. Also, killers would not enjoy the idea of a gen speed boon despite the likely net time loss. Now, this perk does have a couple of times where it can be useful, I guess. In a totem build is where this perk actually shines. So if you want to destroy bones for an archive or for other perks to work, 
then this perk works great to support that. This perk is only good as a supporting perk for totem builds. Please do not put this perk in any gen speed build for the aforementioned reasons. It does not have a benefit that is worth considering as an active perk, only as a passive one. But if you're shooting for destroying totems anyway, this perk can help make up some time loss for doing said totems. That being said, there's only one real build that you can put Overzealous in. This build doesn't need all of these perks, it just does what it does better with all of these perks. Run Jill's Counterforce for quicker totems and to find totems later in the game. Use Inner Healing for reliable healing after each totem. And Michaela's Clairvoyance to find gens and maybe even hatch if it comes to it. Just whatever you do, don't put on Calm Spirit or you'll even have slower totems. 20 seconds to be exact. And this would equal out to like two and a half gens worth at least to have these two perks combined get value, maybe. Thanks for watching, and as usual, stay tuned for more of the series coming out later. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Have a good one. You'd have to repair two gens and a little excess for this perk to actually give value for the gen. But if you're already cleansing totems for builds, then this perk is pretty nice. In between um, inner healing heals and clairvoyance. Uh, mapping, you can just hit another totem if you're hit, and then just, you know, heal again with it, and do gens fast. It's it's more of a totem build perk than a gen speed build perk. Sure, you can use it for a gen speed, but, like, really, you're just gonna be wasting your time doing a totem instead of doing a gen. But it's still helpful. I feel like you're calling me out here. No. No, because you actually had a totem build, Jake. <laughs> I'm calling other people sure. out. You're not calling anyone but people who run this individually. Yes. Like anyone who's doing a one perk build. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. More specifically. Now, whoever that is. Us. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I needed the reminder. Yes, we are we are throwing the game by running one perk at a time, even though we get escapes. Apparently. Sometimes. I don't know how. We don't you know I are paid actors, I don't have enough money. Not enough people are subscribed. You hear that? <laughs> you hit the subscribe button and we will work with the killer. But we'll we'll sandbag for subs. It's on YouTube, subs are free. It's simple. It's free. It's all you imagined it would be. Ooh, a gen. Oh wait, no, can't do the gen. Gotta do a totem. So I can then do two gens without getting hit. Value. You know what's great? What? You do a hex. You get twice as much efficiency. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hello everyone. Welcome I'm to the, the world's greatest teammate. <laughs> oh, I see the killer. No, Rebecca, don't do it. That wasn't my fault. Yeah. Skill issue. Oh no. She saw me. Oh no, I think she has No, never mind. She's definitely gonna fucking come after me, though. Oh, God. Jake, what have you done? I now lose yeah, my 8%. Not my 8%. Are you losing it, or am I losing it? Uh... Well, she's off me now, so... Oh, God, not the 16%. Shit. Shit. Almost, almost made it. <laughs> now, are there matches where you can do, assuming it's not a hex, two full, two full gens and even more? Yes. Are there matches where the same applies without you getting hit in between? Also, yes. But they're very far and in between. So like, 
<laughs> if you want to cleanse totems, this perk good. If you just want gen speed, this perk's, you know, be there better. There are other ways to supplement gen speed. Yep. Because even like a 6% bonus outweighs this at like its large cost. Because it's not like just a flat 8% speed bonus, it's a 14 seconds spent doing something else to convert to an 8 speed bonus until you're hit. Not even down, just hit. If we're talking so much shit about the perk, I'm gonna have to like defend it hard in the analysis just to be like, yeah, it's all job harder. Me. Well, because the cleansing totems is technically forward progress in the game. Yeah. If you cleanse totems, you reduce the likelihood of no ed. <laughs> of course, if you cleanse all five, you completely eradicate no ed altogether. Exactly. I've probably done enough gens without getting injured again to where the perk might actually have had a net gain. But someone has a boon, so now I feel bad for us breaking two totems. <laughs> Overzealous, damn you. But now I know where this totem is, so I can go break it so I can get increased gen speed. No. Don't worry about us. <laughs> oh my god! She healed right before she was hit! Hey, you over there. I'm, 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 I'm busy looking. Oh. Literally right in front of me. Oh, she's coming right this way. Yum. Ah! Yeah, okay, I thought so. Not the boon. Ah. Yeah, I was right, not the boon. Opposite of boon and nearby where the hook was is the door that I am opening. Okay. I, I'm dumb. I thought I was in the pallet spot, throwy spot, pallet, prompt, spacebar, button area. Yes. I'm understandably being somewhat camped. It's a safe save though. And that was a lie. Oh, oh man, there's got the me. Love it. You will probably phase in front of me. the rare red exit icon. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Must be bad. Wait, she juggled earlier, right? Thank me later, Rebecca. Just crawl away. She's working on crawling. This is a dangerous game. Oh, Alec. Don't worry. Oh, worry. Bung makes it. Rebecca makes it. I think, I think it works out. Fingers crossed. I don't care if I die because Rebecca makes it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't blame her, honestly. Same map, Lamau. Uh, oh, it is, isn't it? It's a hillbilly? Let's go, Big Pog. I haven't heard him yet. He is on me. I 
I found a totem in bus. He is off me. Oh, he's running straight to me. Huh. Jen right next to totem. Efficient. In before barbecue and Billy. I smell barbecue and Billy. Why? Wow, he definitely has it. Definitely has it. Oh, he went that way instead of... Yeah. Okay. I haven't heard that term in a long, long time. <laughs> Back when we were playing with folk. Feels like... Ah! I feel like he has charge speed. Or not charge speed, but... Well... Yeah, not charge rate. Charge speed. He's gonna hear you on that, Jen. Ripping me out. Ah, basement. Oh, a totem. Keeping that in mind for later. Nice. Hmm. Overzealous isn't great with high mobility killers because they'll spread out the the injury a lot, especially against Legion. Ah, uh, that was my life flashing before my eyes. Are you in vain? I'm cleansing it. Oh. oh. No, I'm right there. I see. So, as, ooh, as I was kind of saying earlier, if you have a totem build, this could be a perfect time to heal quicker than a normal heal, while also being able to do gens faster, unless if he... What? I don't even know, man. And fun fact, overzealous does not stay if you're picked up from a locker, because you're losing a health state when you're picked up from a locker. There. How the fuck did he know? Like, he was too far to hear the totem break, I think. You know what, Nada? I respect your enthusiasm. I refuse to die. Ah, straight. Thank God. There. My short speed boost. Mucho nido. Uh, I don't know where he is. I have he this. is going around main. He's going towards hook. Ah, he is following me. He's going back to hook. Oh, because someone. Okay, that makes sense. There was a gen next to main, right? Yeah, right ahead of you. Ah. Probably more efficient for me to self man. Or I, either work. Ooh. I think that's four out of five of the totem, so we more or less dealt with Noed, but we already know most of his perks, and I don't think this Billy is a Noed gamer. Because he's a Billy, and no. I respect him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would not say that he's got no head. Hey, no, there's some slow songs here. Ah, uh, he's curving. Man's curving. Of course, I get a ghost skill check paired with all that. Overcharge. I'm gonna stop the gen from decaying. I almost threw a pallet trying to hit the overcharge. I thought I hit it. Guess I'm off. So, eight <laughs> percent. 14 seconds to get 8%. <laughs> like, if there were a perk that was like a mine that you set on totems, so you could like do a gen while doing a totem, cool. It'd be net value or something. This is why it's best in a build. Like, with 
a totem build with like a fast toolbox and maybe uh, built to last. Mm. You, could do some, you could do some big damage. And counterforce saves about three seconds for the first totem you cleanse, so it kind of makes up for itself if you, you know, cleanse a couple totems or cleanse a totem, get injured, cleanse a totem, sort of thing. It takes less time to cleanse totems each time, so you know. can get back the okay. efficiency quicker on gens. But also, would heavily advise running in a totem. 